Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're helping service-based entrepreneurs generate leads on LinkedIn fast and free. So everything I cover here is free. You can definitely harvest the gold that's on LinkedIn without any pay tools. All you need are your words. And these words you have to pick carefully, but I'll cover them today. And we'll do the pay tools in another video. Before we start, I just want to bust this myth that you can only use LinkedIn for B2B lead generation. That is not true. The platform itself does not discriminate against B2C businesses. And if you're service-based and you serve professionals who are on the platform, then LinkedIn is definitely for you. So you could be doing personal growth. You could be doing professional growth. You could be doing anything with a professional audience and you're going to be able to find them there and talk to them, build a relationship and get leads from it. You're also going to get better exposure than you would, let's say on Instagram, on our Facebook, which are very, very competitive. The first thing we want to do, of course, is to optimize our LinkedIn profile. So the goal here, remember again, is to get leads. It's not to get a new job. It's not to show off how awesome we are. It's not to you know, get investors or any other things. It's to get clients. Okay. So we're going to optimize four things based on that. The first thing we want to look at is this headline section. So if you click on that, you'll see the headline here. And the thing we want to do here is address two things. The first one is who are our ideal clients? And number two is what do we do for them? What kind of outcome results can they expect from us? So for me, I say we help busy solopreneurs, right? That's who we help. And what we help you do is get attention, close sales and expand influence. So these are the challenges, the roadblocks that our clients, our ideal clients face is that they are having trouble getting noticed. They can't get clients or get, they can't get more clients fast and they want to expand their influence and grow their credibility. So we talk to who we're helping and what kind of roadblocks we help them address, what kind of results we help them achieve. And then optional, uh, but recommended is having pillars of strengths that you have. So for me, it's strategic storytelling, business design and design thinking. So people get a sense of what I do. It's about communication and it's about business strategy. So that helps them anchor and make that decision whether they are interested in what I offer, right? So this blurb right here is what shows up next to your name. For example, for the posts that you do for the articles that you do, as well as if they're searching and you pop up in the results, they'll see a quick um, blurb of the headline. So they can judge whether you are someone that they're interested in. The second thing we want to look at is this about uh, section, which is also called the summary. So if you see prompts for those, uh, they are the same thing here. We want to go a little bit more in depth. It's kind of like what you would say in your website, uh, but have a mini version here on LinkedIn so people can make a better informed decision of whether they want to take an action with you and also for you to invite them to take an action. We also start with uh, how we help and what we help them achieve. So another version of what we said up here in the headline, you can use the same one. You can use different ones. I like to use different ones just in case some people don't uh, resonate with the original sentence. So here we say we help service-based entrepreneurs get clients and grow their business. Then we go deeper into who it's for. So really list out, who the person is, what kind of roadblocks they're facing and get them to think about, okay, is this for me or not? So for me, for example, we talk about the 21st century solopreneurs and here, I just want to note that we talk about entrepreneurs here and solopreneurs here just to give different keywords uh, for people who are searching for people who are attuned to different words so that we capture both we talk about their roadblocks, right? One could be getting more and better clients. One could be building influence and credibility. One could be don't know how to articulate what they do 
so that they get the right clients. Then they're wondering, okay, so how are you going to help me? So we talk about what you're going to get here. What you get is really focusing on your offer and making sure it's specific enough, giving timelines if possible. So what I do here is I say it's a, you get a system to find and communicate to the ideal clients and turn them into clients within two months. So here they have an idea of, okay, the offer is probably short term and I will set up a system of some, some sort and they're going to be able to help me find clients and communicate to them. So that is really great for them to then think, okay, what else do I need to know? How do they actually do it? So then we move on to how we do it, right? We share the methodology, the approach to it. And so here we talk about the strategy, strategy led communication that makes you stand out. Again, we remind them what we're going to help them do. And we say it in different words. So before we were saying we're going to get you clients and grow your business. And then now we're saying we can help you stand out, which implies that you're going to get noticed and you're going to get clients. So using different words here to resonate with people and share with them some of the strategies we use and also our strengths. We talk about customer journey mapping. We talk about design thinking. We talk about the science of communication. So they understand, okay, this is um, the approach. And if you have experience, credibility results in this area, you can also add it here to say that, for example, what I say is the techniques and strategies draw from my experience in law and legal persuasion, behavioral economics, social psychology, management consulting, and startup strategy. So they know that, okay, they're getting the full picture when they're working with us. It's important to add a little bit of credibility or experience if you have them into this section here, then it's just a simple call to action, right? Message me to find out more. It could be you put in a link to book a call with you. It could be to um, send them to your website or YouTube or wherever you want to send them, right? Having that intentional, customer journey and controlling how you want them to interact with you. The third section we want to optimize is featured. So right under about, and we want to make sure that we send people to places to find out more about us. So for me here, I've shared a YouTube video link and a article that I've written. So you can do that by just clicking the plus and you can add posts, articles, links, and media. Now, if, the main area of your business, let's say is on YouTube, then you probably want to add as many YouTube videos as you think relevant to your visitors so that they will be curious about the topic and go onto your YouTube where then you get the leads and you convert them. So if you are doing that with a newsletter, you probably want to include the link here so that these people become leads, And if they sign up, they become prospects. So it's thinking about how can you connect LinkedIn to whatever your marketing funnel sales funnel is. So for me, I share a YouTube video of how to get your first client in one month. So if they are um, relatively early stage entrepreneur, then they can go onto my YouTube video to check out my style, how I talk about this, if they like my approach and I think it's very representative of what my philosophy and my strengths are. So I get them to check out this video. If they think it's interesting, then they can click on the link that is in my YouTube video description. Now I've also uh, featured a article that I have written. Now this one is actually the point that I want to share with you. Um, after optimizing your profile is to start releasing content on LinkedIn. So the third section to optimize is featured. Now this is where you connect people to content that you want them to see, to get to know you a little bit better that you want to send traffic to. So for example, if your business is mainly on YouTube and that's how you get people to enter your funnel, then you want to send them there, right? If they are going to be interested in articles that you've written, which then you lead them to, let's say a newsletter, sign up, then you want to share those links and you can share all sorts of things here. You can do posts, you can do articles, 
You can add links, which I've done with this YouTube video, and you can upload media. So you want to showcase the things that you've done outside of the platform and get them to engage with you wherever your main home is. So if, let's say if YouTube is your main area, you can add multiple YouTube videos that you think will be interesting and helpful for them, and they can look through them and check them out. Uh, I have just two pinned here, but you can have multiple. The reason why I put this video here is because it's indicative of my, of my style, of coaching, of consulting. It's indicative of what kind of materials people can expect, how the communication and the business strategy all come together. Also, it's a question that a lot of people have. So it's thinking about of the people who come and visit, where can you send them to that you can still capture them within your system and they'll get some value out of it and may eventually become a client. So the other thing to think about um, is really producing content. And this is the other aspect of LinkedIn that you can get these for free is producing content, posting posts, articles uh, on, on the platform because right now the organic reach of LinkedIn content is a lot higher than Instagram, uh, Facebook, and these more mature platforms. A lot of people are there, but also a lot of people are here on LinkedIn. And if you know who you're talking to, then it's another great way of expanding your reach. So for me, for example, I wrote this article, uh, not really thinking about much. Um, <laughs> I didn't do any promotion. I was just inspired by some statistics um, that came out about 2020. So I wrote this uh, very quick and I got 10, 10 likes and two comments and people who are not in my network who are interacting with this and who a few of them actually sent me a message because of this article. Uh, so it was really by surprise that I found out how much reach I can have by just putting out content there. So I wanted to demonstrate that if you have content on other platforms, you can repur repurpose them and put them out on LinkedIn as uh, posts, as articles, and you can reach, really reach people that are outside of your network. So that's the other misconception people have is that, oh, it's completely confined to the people that are in my network, um, which for a lot of entrepreneurs are people in corporate uh, who have nothing to do with what you're doing now. But actually, we do not, uh, we should not um, underestimate the network effect of people within your network. And they'll know some people uh, who might know other people who will see this. So the other part of the equation, if you want to do this for free and get leads on LinkedIn, is to either create original content or take whatever content you have, maybe it's on YouTube, maybe it's an Instagram post, and repurposing it for uh, LinkedIn in order to get really great organic reach that may or may not be here you know, in the future. So you wanna take advantage of that now. Now, you might be wondering, okay, should I be cold messaging people on LinkedIn? The, the search function is pretty good, even on the free version. So should I be doing that? And the answer is, it depends. Right, depends on which at the stage of your business with my clients also not all of them do linkedin outreach because for some of them it doesn't make sense and actually people come to them and they can't handle too many inquiries at one time anyway so there is a time and a place for that if you're interested in how to write those messages so it's not spam me and people actually read them and respond then let me know in the description below. Uh, I might do another video on that. There are also paid tools that can help you really automate the lead generation and sending out um, messages that still can be somewhat customized, um, but I'll cover that in another video if you guys are interested. So let your LinkedIn page do the selling for you, do the promotion for you. You don't have to be out there doing all of these things, get them to do that while you sleep. Make sure you use your words.
So make sure you use this on LinkedIn. It's absolutely free and very, very powerful. If you found these tips helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk about the paid tools in the different videos, but in the meantime, use your free words in these ways and I'll see you in the next video.